Do you want to get out? Now what you gonna do? Do you want to get out? Shall I stop the music? <laughs> well, hello and welcome to my very short tutorial on Be Funky, which is why I started with the funky music. You know. Well, cool, what can I say? Right, okay, so Be Funky is an extension you can add to your Google Chrome, and you can use it to edit images. Now, it's not a replacement for Photoshop or anything like that, but it can actually be really quite handy, and you can use it to quite um, to good use. It's particularly handy for anything you might have on your Google Drive that you just want to make a small, quick adjustment to. So rather than download the whole thing, edit it in Photoshop and re-upload it for some simple stuff like just a minor exposure change, or maybe it's a, a crop, you could just use this. Um, and so it could be quite handy in that sense. Maybe it's like a folder that you've already put you working for a client, for example, and you realize, oh, I wish I'd just cropped that. You could just do it really quick. Uh, and it could speed up your workflow and your process. And any time you do speed up your workflow or process, you save money because time, obviously, is money. For example, uh, I've got this picture of a wolf on my drive. Uh, and it's I just clicked on it so it comes up big in my Google Drive. And then I can just go to the top and open with, and I've got Be Funky as one of my options because I've already installed uh, this extension. So I can click on that and it'll just open it up. You don't have to have it as something on your Google Drive. You can open stuff directly from your desktop or anything like that as well. Maybe you haven't got Photoshop and you don't want to use Photopia or photop.com. Um, this could just work really, really well uh, as another result. So again, it's, open, it's opened up for us, a uh, piece of cake. And then we've got simple options uh, over on the left-hand side. Let me zoom in for you. So crop, uh, I can just click on that straight away. I can just recrop this if I wanted to. I want to move a crop it square for uh, Instagram or something. There's an options for, you know, square one of one. So I could do that. You just click the X if you want to just get out of whatever it is that you're doing. Just take you back a step. There's resize, there's rotate. Anything that has a little sort of star next to it, these are the premium options, uh, which you know, you're going to pay for. If you're going to pay for something, you're probably not going to pay for this. Um, just, just use the free options. And then you've got exposure, uh, which does exactly what it says on the tin. You haven't got a million options here, but you have got just the basics. So brightness, basic exposure control, contrast, uh, highlights and shadows. So for example, let's just have a very quick, let's boost a bit because it could do a little bit more contrast in this picture. And then we could just bring the shadows up. A little bit more. Okay, let's just go. For example, let's just say I do that, which is a bit, it's all right on the outside edges, but it's a bit dark on the actual wolf itself. There's an option for erase. So I can click on that and I can, I can see my brush size, my brush size is a little bit bigger. Um, I could soften the brush. Okay, and then I can just maybe paint it back just on the actual wolf itself. So that's not got quite that heavy contrast, but I've got it around the rest of the picture. Dead quick, dead easy, which is what you want on some occasions. And this is why this will be a lot quicker than, uh, than Photoshop. And you can then just save it straight back to your Google Drive, um, which again is fantastic. So if you open the Google Drive folder, you save it straight back in, um, which is really handy. Um, and then obviously you've got all the little sort of little bits. You can play around with the color. You can beautify. <laughs> what that means. Uh, there's blur options as well, which is quite cool. Um, and you've also got some other sorts of stuff. So for example, if I go up towards the top, there's photo editor, which is what we're in at the moment. There's collage maker and there's graphic design. Collage maker, if you just click on it as a quick example, you could just put, maybe you've got some from a project where you want to just put stuff. Maybe it's for your project work. You just want to put four images, sorry, nine images, nice and neat together. Uh, you could just do that. And then the other option over in that corner was graphic designer. Okay, which will, you can um, pick some pre-made templates. Um, again, if it's got a star next to it, you're sort of frozen out, but you've got some sort of basic stuff that you could have a quick play with uh, on there. If I just go back to photo editor. There is obviously different options down there. So I'm in the editing function here, which is just general enhancements okay um so you can click on the other stuff here um so you can get rid of marks or blemishes or spots uh, using that uh, there's effects ones again the problem with the effects one is that it'll probably be everything's 
got a star next to it, so you can't use it. Um, and there's other random ones. Frames, featured frames. So we've got that one there, sort of grungy look. That one's free. Uh, woo, I go crazy. Um, and then there's other sort of graphics. <laughs> there is some cheesy, cheesy graphics and overlays that you can put on. Um, some animal ones, which, you know, I thought the wolf one, you know, got to pay for that one, which is a shame because, I mean, that's a beautiful image and you you know it really. Uh, we could, oh, a dinosaur, dinosaur with a wolf. I need to get out more often. Um, right, but as a quick, simple, easy, easy editor, it's pretty good and it's worth a try. It's worth having a new Chrome extension so you could just go in quickly uh, tweak some images. Uh, it's worth a go. Have a try. I uh, hope you like it. Enjoy.